good day. Here are the stories for the Manila Times for Wednesday, June 9, 2021. Senator Panfilo Ping Lacson on Tuesday said he was weighing his options whether to retire from politics or run in tandem with Senate President Vicente Tito Soto III in the 2021 national elections. Soto had voiced his intention to run for vice president in next year's polls but said he would only do so if Laxon sought the presidency. The three-term senator admitted that Soto had urged him to seek the presidency next year. If elections were held today, three mayors in Metro Manila would be re-elected while five others would face stiff competition, a survey showed. Quezon City Mayor Maria Josefina Joy Belmonte Pasig City Mayor Victor Vico Soto and San Juan City Mayor Francisco Francis Zamora all got high approval ratings and the non-commissioned survey conducted by RP Mission and Development Foundation Incorporated or RPMDINC from May 20 to May 30, 2021. The poll dubbed NCR Mayor, Pulso ng Bayan 2020, covered 8 cities, Quezon, Manila, Pasig, San Juan, Caloocan, Paranaque, Muntinlupa, and Malabon. Police arrested more than 800 people worldwide in a huge global sting involving encrypted phones that were secretly planted by the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation, law enforcement agencies said Tuesday. Policemen in 16 countries were able to read the messages of global underworld figures as they plotted drug deals, arms transfers, and gangland hits on the compromised unarmed devices. Mafia groups, Asian crime syndicates, motorcycle gangs, and other organized crime syndicates around the world were all monitored using the spike phones as part of Operation Trojan Shield. The Philippine Food and Drug Administration or FDA has approved an amendment to the Emergency Use Authorization or EUA granted to Pfizer to include children ages 12 years and above. The amended EUA was issued by the FDA on May 28 and now includes an indication that allows the use of the vaccine for individuals aged 12 years and older. In world news, the World Health Organization called on COVID-19 vaccine manufacturers to give COVAX first refusal on new doses or commit half of their volumes to the global jab equity scheme. WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said manufacturers should turn their attention to the COVAX facility, which has struggled to get donation-funded doses to poorer countries. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos will ride his own rocket into space next month, joining the first crew to fly in the Blue Origin capsule. The second richest man on Earth announced he will launch on July 20 from Texas along with his firefighter brother Mark and the highest bidder in a charity auction. Headlining business, the World Bank slashed its 2021 Philippine Gross domestic product projection due to the larger-than-expected first-quarter economic contraction, increase in COVID-19 cases, and the imposition of stricter quarantine measures in the second quarter. During the launch of the latest Philippines economic update on Tuesday, World Bank senior economist Kevin Chua said, the economy is now projected to grow by 4.7%, significantly lower than the 5.5% earlier projection. Topping sports, with her conquest of the U.S. Women's Open on Monday, Filipino golf sensation Yuka Sasso rose from number 22 to number 9 in the Olympic golf rankings on Tuesday. The cutoff for the women's Olympic qualification is June 28, and with Sasso's current ranking, she is practically assured of his spot and the one-year delayed games. Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal beat their teen opponents to reach the quarterfinals of the French Open. Djokovic outlasted Lorenzo Mosetti in five sets while Nadal stopped 18th seeded Janik Sinner in three. 
Rigoberto Tiglao and Father Ranhilio Aquino are today's front page columnists. Tiglao talks about the West Philippine Sea appellation, Aquino's brainwashing trick and a curse. Father Aquino writes about the lessons we should have learned in the pandemic. The editorial discusses how the energy crunch presents a difficult paradox. Read a full version on the paper's opinion section and listen to the voice of the Times. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print, subscribe to its digital edition, or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and keep up with the Times. For the Manila Times, this is Christian Kromaghanoy reporting. Good morning.